Hello and welcome back. Um, we are doing day 12 for my attributes playthrough, Fortitude. Uh, yesterday at the end of the night, I finished upgrading my stairwell, chopped down all my trees that were over there. I don't need the hammer on me. I don't need to carry that. You know what? That can go back. That doesn't matter. Um... So we have a buried supplies quest that we're going to track. We're not going to track the uh, go find the trader up in the wasteland. Because I'm probably not going to do it unless I get an actual motorcycle, which the only time I can do that would be tomorrow. Tomorrow is trader restock. I've got plenty of gold, or dukes. So we're going to start off with this buried treasure, or buried supplies. Go back, get, oh, I have a point to spend. And I'm spending it on agility because I want to get the Fury of Blows level 2. Yeah, as far as fortitude goes, like, <clears throat> if you want to do a build for this, it is very doable. The only problem is that a lot of the stuff isn't all that great. Eggs? No eggs. So you'd have to uh, branch out into other things anyway. I know a lot of uh, content creators don't like spending points on advanced engineering. I don't mind doing it myself. Um, I'd rather guarantee that I have the workbenches when I can get them and not have to rely on luck. Like, if I find the schematics for them, great. But if I don't, I don't... I also don't mind... Um... Just taking advanced engineering to make sure I get it. That was a spider. Up oh, there it is. No? No. Okay. I have a feeling like this is going to take me out underneath the road a little bit. Seems to be the case anytime there's a, uh, it's next to a road. Oh. Well, I will take that. Actually, I'm curious. I'm going to dig up straight from where it's at. Standing on it. Let me out.
Almost completely under. Ow. Alright, well I'm done and the traitor's not even open yet. have a whole lot to sell to the trader and I know he doesn't have anything I want to buy so I think I'm gonna hold off until tomorrow to do any selling My base is as good as it needs to be. Um, just because I still don't have any cops or demolition. I might end up with some cops on day 14. I also need to... If I don't film straight through, then I will... Um, up the intensity of the horde so that way there's more zombies if you're uh, feeling under congratulations I can make my payment to the duke now sure what do you got restore power I'm not doing any restore powers uh, that fetch and clear is so far. This is all so far away. You looking to earn some dukes? I got jobs for some. Red like Mesa. You. I don't even remember where the Red Mesa is at. That is. The Duke is blocking all shipments until that job is done. I really wish you could help me. Up here, I believe. We always need someone to handle the tough job. Oh, this is a dangerous one. Try not so to. We'll go do this one. Oh, Red Mesa is the, the underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know which one Red Mesa is. I believe that's the missile silo. I think we'll, we'll see how much time's left once I'm done with this quest. If I've got plenty of time, then yeah, I'll head out there. I'll do that one just because I'm not doing a... Uh, not, uh, restore power. So the problem with the restore power is it's a lot more dangerous for not really better rewards. Like if you did a restore power tier 1, tier 2 restore power, like say you did a tier 1 restore power. I don't even know if there are tier 1 restore powers, but let's say you did one. Your reward realistically should be like the same reward you'd get for a tier two, potentially even a tier three. Um, just because it is so much harder, and the higher the higher the tier quest it is, the harder it actually does become. Um, I guarantee you if I were to take that tier 4 restore power, um, there would be cops there, there would be rights there, there's a good chance that there would be um, irradiated, which um, if you don't kill them quickly, um, they regenerate their health back, so they take 
so it takes even more time to kill. Butcher Pete. Oh, I think I remember this one. I think this is a good POI. Like some service? Thank you. I don't even know what I'm looking for loot wise. Um, obviously, I want the steel knuckles schematic. Um, I take steel tools just because I'm not an idiot. Um, I think steel, steel Knuckles at this point is really the only thing. Obviously, a tier 6 AK or a um, tactical assault rifle. Not a big fan of the M60, but since that's the end of the line on the automatic weapons, I'd take it. Uh, do I need, I don't need cobblestone. At least not for the quest, or the uh, base that I have currently. Missed him on the first swing. Again, we are in week two of the playthrough, so all books that get found, whether I've read them or not, get read for XP. I don't like that the, it looks like there's dogs in there. Speaking of rights, I was say, just die already. I didn't even like check that he might have been irradiated um, his eyes were glowing as though he was but that doesn't mean that he was I don't I don't fight right or see rights all that often so I don't know if their eyes are yellow all the time or if it's just when they're feral not irradiated irradiated he's been glowing green Nothing. 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 Oh, all this assortment of nothingness. I don't need the leather anymore. I don't know if you actually have to walk away from those or not. 
I don't know if they deal damage to you, if they don't deal damage to you. All that's not relevant. Sounds like I got people coming in. Sounds like I have a lot of zombies coming in. Did I have a zombie horde just roll up on me? It's absolutely what it sounds like. Should continue on the POI. Out of stamina. Hear you. If you'd like to come up and die again, you can. They're going to attack the walls. I saw a spider monkey in here. Or a spider zombie. No? No more stacking them. They don't. They don't blow up correctly. I feel like this isn't working properly. Like this, it doesn't do enough damage 
to the hardened chest. And I say that because drop the pocket, no pocket. Well, you take that. Anyway, so I say that because um, it just it always takes more than four, and the um, gun safe, which is half of its health, takes two. So based on that, I don't see that I don't want chrysanthemum. I don't really need any of this crap either. Oh yeah, there's a ton of zombies down here. No? I can hear you. Get rid of the paper. Get rid of the blood bags. Scrap that. I like don't want to go into the last part of this POI and wake those zombies up. So I deal with the rest of the zombies that are down here that I can hear. That's a feral. That's a feral. You're a feral. You're all ferals. And then there's very little loot on this side. There's some, just not very much. Um, I don't need bones. I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. That's because I don't want to deal with you. Alright, that should... There might be one more piece of trash back here. Nope. Alright. Let's get out of here. It's noon. So I did get some beakers, which are only relevant for the chemistry station. I've never come across anything else that actually uses the beaker. Wrong button. Yeah, chemistry station. Literally the only thing I've ever... I can't think of any recipes that actually require the beaker. You can't make the beaker. Um, let's see, food. Really? 
really does it not show anything? That's stupid. But yeah, I can't think of anything, any cooking recipe that actually requires the beaker in vanilla. And I wish that that would be something that they would correct. Pretty sure that's why the overhaul mods do so well, like Darkness Falls. Everything is useful, even into the late game. So... Actually, I don't know what, even in that, what you need the uh, beaker for. Going over all the workstation things. I know they get rid of the beaker from the fire. I think beaker's literally only used for crafting the um, camp station. I do have at least one open Meds? slot. Drugs? I knew you had it in you. Good work. <gasps> yes. Um We'll take this tier three that's closer. Oh, I would kiss you, but um, you know, apocalypse hygiene and all. Just because that won't take me anywhere near as long to get to, and then we'll go do Red Mesa. Gotta throw that in there as well. Just because I want to check mods before I just assume that I have something better. Oh, yeah, I didn't even check this one. 45. Okay, so mine's, mine's already better. And in here, I can't give two craps about the stone. the extra ammo. Everything else can go away. We'll throw you in there for now. Alright, so you're doing 55.3 with a magazine size of 30. I know they say, like, it doesn't care about the mods, but... Alright, so you're doing 53.5. You're doing 55.3. 30. 33. Interesting. You know what, I might not sell either of these AKs come Horde Night, just so I can have extra guns if I need them. I don't know, that loads pretty quick. We 
which is the big concern I have when it comes to that. All right, did I leave? I rode my bike over. Sweet. All right, let's go get this tier three done. Shouldn't take that long. I might even just go through with attack. Tactical assault rifle. Just go through, kill everybody. Go back through and loot. Okay, so you are not this guy's yard. You are the neighbor. Clearly, I've been here since all that stuff was missing. I don't need paper. I forgot to check the... Oh. Ow. I always think it's funny. It's like, I can move faster and I can kill faster if I use this gun. But it's really not that much faster. I don't know why I'm collecting everything still. Most things I can get out of POI are useless at this point. I don't need I don't really need the money either. I need Yeah, I think the only thing I'm looking for at this point tier six gun uh, steel knuckles schematic. I wanna make them, I don't if I find them I want them to be tier five, tier six. Has to be equivalent to what I'm currently carrying. There's nothing behind there that never is. Otherwise, there's really no point. And you're locked. Okay. So let's loot before I continue. This would be an awkward closet. I mean, it's, it's considered a crawl space, but it'd still be awkward. I don't need rotting flesh. Ooh, coffee I'll take, though. I think I might be a bit more discerning about what I actually take. 
Since most of the stuff I'm actually just going to throw on the ground anyway. Eh, yeah, food's food. Got that last swing in. Why'd I do that? Ooh, those gothic pants have my uh, part of my color palette. Take you, eh, we'll just take all of that. I mean, that's everybody. I know that's everybody because I got the quest completion up in the corner says I'm done. Tech Junkie books are definitely going to be something I'm going to be looking for when it comes time to uh, do the intelligence. What do you have left? Yeah, see, it did 4,000 on this, and it takes usually four or like five to six on that reinforced, but it's only 10,000 health. All right, I can already make steel tools. I just don't have the steel to make steel tools. Maybe encumbered. Sand. All right. I don't actually care about you. I know you can get sand out of that. Good to know. It's 5.30. You and I might take a uh, restore power. Just so that we have a reason for, for being out. As long as it's not in the wasteland. Here's your pay for a job well done. Steel spear? Sure. Oh, 
This is the best way to get dupes and rewards. If you finish two more jobs this week, I will give you employee of the month. I'm almost out of time charges. I am almost out of time charges. I'll throw that on me. Because why not? Those don't actually take up um, space on my hotbar. Not that I use all the space on my hotbar anyway. Oh, I still don't like looting goggles. What kind? Just plus three. Throw everything up there. I might not sell them though. Um, 2.2 kilometers in that direction. Oh, it's up in the wasteland. No. No, we are not. I am not doing a quest up in the wasteland, especially not a restore power. Last quest I did in the wasteland, I ended up dying. Anything in here? No. So I ended up dying while doing the quest because a zombie horde showed up and then when I went back to get my body another zombie horde showed up well in the middle of fighting that zombie horde a zombie horde spawned where I was fighting I've got a bit of a problem can you help me? oh thank goodness I couldn't find anyone to do that job yeah, Red Max is a bit of a pain in the ass to do. So hopefully I can get there, kill everything on the top, get to a point to where I can hide, essentially. So I can start that tonight, finish it, first thing in the morning, come back, talk to Jen. And I might progress while I'm in there. I don't know. Okay, well, it's 7 o'clock now. Do I have a whole kilometer to, to go to get there? Ugh. Wish I had a motorcycle. You know what I might have? Two points, and I need four on that. So we'll buy that to buy that. All right. So now my attacks are 17% faster than what they were. And realistically, um, if I wasn't trying to not just dump a bunch of points into strength and then have this be end up being a strength playthrough. I would have put the, those points into strength so I can get uh, Sexual Tyrannosaurus leveled up because that's just more stamina. Like, your stamina regenerates better. Points and flurry of blows is not a bad thing. But that should definitely be a... Alright, Sex Rex is full. Now what do I put my points into? Oh, is this out in the desert? 
Ooh, this is gonna be a fun one. I'm not about to be going into Vulture Haven with some injury. It's the only chance you have of uh, not just constantly being dive bombed. desert and I've got the uh, go back to the right one um, well insulated is the whole reason that I'm not overheating right now otherwise I'd be overheating already I don't think any of my clothes uh, yeah, one to heat resist. I don't have the bandana. So I have 1.7 to heat resist naturally. Or from what I'm wearing. And my heat resist... Really, it only feels like 70? Alright. My heat resist is 42. And if heat resist is like armor. Oh, that's a cop. I mean that was a hundred and thirty out here and it only feels like seven seventy all right we are going to do what everybody should do when they come to red mesa If you don't know what you're supposed to do, try and take as many of these assholes out before they... Oh, come on. Out of stamina.
I'm helping them to break them out, essentially, because this is the main loot room. But also, I can hide in here overnight. So it's super nice of them to have unlocked all that for me. And this key unlocks that door that we just broke. Let's go in there. And this is a uh, clear and re retrieve. So I can't just... And there's Nightfall. I did 2,000 with that to this one. I have 50 lockpicks. If I run out of lockpicks, then I'm going to be real upset. I don't want to be in the light. So I do need this to still be crouched. Well, we're going to call it here. Um, I still have to find the supplies. I still have to kill all the zombies. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'm not going to move from here. Probably till like 3 a.m. And then I'll start progressing on the quest. So that way I've only got like an hour in-game in of dealing with nighttime zombies. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good night.